these mouth-watering fillings for cupcakes are also incredibly easy to prepare. Let's start with how to fill cupcakes. The quickest way to fill cupcakes is to use a piping tip. Round tips or even a star-shaped tip will work. Drop your tip into a piping bag, and the neatest way to fill piping bags is to fold it over a glass and then spoon the filling inside. This first filling is dulce de leche, which is a thick caramel that comes in a can, so if you're intimidated by homemade caramel, this is a great alternative. You can make it runnier by stirring in some cream, which I've done here. You only need about a tablespoon of filling for each cupcake. Unfold the piping bag and the top edge will be perfectly clean instead of covered with smears of your filling ingredient. Squeeze the filling down to the end and then push your piping tip into the middle of a cupcake, going in maybe a third of the length of the tip and squeeze the bag to fill the cupcake. When the cupcake bulges and the filling oozes out of the top, stop squeezing and lift the piping bag up. For another easy filling, mix dulce de leche with about half that amount of peanut butter. This peanut butter caramel is sweet and creamy and still a good consistency to pipe as filling into a cupcake. Ideally, filling ingredients won't be very runny because those will absorb into the cupcake and you won't notice them when you bite into the cupcake. Nutella is ideal. It's best to push your piping tip with your fingers into the cupcake. Otherwise, the tip can be pushed by the cupcake back up into the piping bag. I'll show you an easier option in a second. The cupcake cracking is a good sign that it's bursting with the filling ingredient for maximum flavour. You'll cover up the cracks with frosting, so don't worry about them being ugly. This is lemon curd, and you can buy it in a jar pre-made or make your own. Homemade tends to be runnier, so using a smaller tip will prevent it oozing out of the piping bag while you're moving the bag towards the cupcake. To make it easier to push the piping tip into the cupcake, use a coupler. These go on the inside of piping bags, and then you attach the piping tip to the outside of the bag, screwing it on with the ring that comes with the coupler. This will hold the tip in place so it doesn't push back up from the cupcake when you're trying to fill the cupcake. Much easier. After using this filling, just unscrew the ring on the coupler and take the piping tip off to wash and dry, and then you can use that same piping tip on another piping bag with a coupler, which makes it really quick to switch between different filling ingredients. The second method for filling cupcakes is the knife and spoon method. It's a bit more time consuming, but it works best for really thick ingredients or really runny ingredients that are difficult to pipe. And you don't need a piping bag for this method. This is a package of vanilla pudding, which makes cupcakes really moist and rich without making them overly sweet. And if you use a package, it only takes five minutes to set. Hold a sharp knife at an angle to cut a cone shape out of the middle of the cupcake, not going all the way down to the bottom of the cupcake, only about halfway. Spoon your filling into the hole, and then gently press the cupcake cone back over it. Now it's time to frost and decorate these cupcakes. I'll show you options with and without piping tips. This is a 1M tip, a star-shaped tip, and to show what the filling is, you can decorate the cupcake with it. This cupcake is filled with Nutella, so I'm spooning some Nutella into a Ziploc bag and microwaving it for 10 seconds to thin it out a bit, and then cutting a tiny piece off the corner of the Ziploc bag to squeeze the Nutella through and drizzle over the cupcake. Yum. You can do this with any filling, like this dulce de leche. The trick is to make sure it's runny enough to drizzle, so you might need to add cream or heat it for a few seconds in the microwave. And don't cut off too much from the corner of the bag or you'll pipe globs instead of a nice thin drizzle. To incorporate the filling in the frosting, you could stir it in or try this two-tone frosting. It's easiest to do this inside a glass so that the piping bag stays wide open while you're filling it. Spoon the filling down one side of the piping bag and fill the other side with frosting. This is my four minute buttercream and the recipe is in the video description. Lift the piping bag up and squeeze the filling and frosting down to the piping tip and you should see both go all the way to the tip, meaning they'll both pipe out through the tip together at the same time. Pipe a swirl onto your cupcake and you'll see pretty two-tone frosting that tells everyone what flavour the cupcake filling is inside. For another way to display your filling ingredient, pipe a swirl onto a cupcake with any tip, this is a 1M, but don't finish the swirl. Leave a little hole at the top and fill that with more of your filling ingredient. Like this strawberry jam I'm spooning into this cupcake. Or for this cupcake, filled with lemon curd and frosted with an 8B tip, I'm piping more lemon curd on top. If you don't have piping tips, you can use just a piping bag with the end cut off and hold it still as you squeeze so that the frosting bulges out to cover the cupcake. Scoop out a bit from the middle with a spoon or an offset spatula and fill the hole with more of your filling. 
Now for the best part, biting into the cupcakes to discover what's inside. Lemon curd, deliciously tart to balance out the sweetness of the frosting. Strawberry jam for a refreshing burst of flavor in the middle of the cupcake. Peanut butter caramel, which pairs perfectly with chocolate and isn't too sweet. Nutella, decadently chocolatey. Dulce de leche, this thick, creamy caramel that looks beautiful in the two-tone frosting and tastes incredible too. And vanilla pudding, which keeps the cupcake nice and moist without adding a lot of sweetness. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Visit British Girl Bakes for more delicious recipes, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials, and visit my online cake school for lots of online courses. Thanks for watching.